575-224-9368 or you can reach me at 505-377-8789 uh, email address is mail m-a-i-l at wickerjungle.com alright so what you see here is you see the platform or base on which the dome shelter system sits. Now what I've done is if you look right here you can see a piece of red tape and that red tape is at the end of a string. That string runs to the center. Let me show you. That string runs to this buried in the ground that you really can't see but you can see the string. What I did is measured from the center out to this piece of tape eight feet, all right? So you can see that the pad extends beyond the red tape by, oh, I don't know, anywhere from three or four inches up to six inches. Now you can see that the uh, this trench, ditch, whatever you want to call it, is about a foot wide and I dug it about in this particular instance about eight inches deep. Now the reason I did that is because when it rains the, the water will run off of the dome and into the ditch. Okay so essentially that's what it's for. Now I'm in the southwest and there's radon gas that also allows gases to escape. Now, what I did here is I drove a stake at the highest point on, on this particular uh, site you can see that alright then there's three strings emanating from it you could do five strings if you wanted to but the key is is having one central stake at the highest point and you can usually tell what the highest point is by looking alright so uh, these strings allowed me to level the ground so when you're sleeping inside or walking around you're walking on a level surface obviously uh, this type this is done typically also in you know home construction or general uh, repairs or pouring a slab uh, or maybe even you know making a backyard patio or something like this so so that's masonry line that stretched from one central point the highest point out to three different stakes. Again, you could use, say, five stakes, but um, I've spent oh, about a day and a half on this project here, so this uh, the work is essentially already done here. So I'm showing you what the finished uh, floor looks like before you put down lumber covers and then polyethylene and then another layer of lumber cover this area here was the low end down here okay and you can see I've backfilled several you see that blue bucket over there with a the shovel in it that is the what I've been using to level the ground with and that's a little four foot pointed shovel fortunately this the uh, the dirt in this area region Southwest is fairly soft, so I dug out the ditch, put it in there, and, and then poured it along the string until the dirt was level. I actually used my foot to kick the dirt around. You know, certainly use a garden rake or whatever you want to. And, uh, and then, you know, I spent the better part of a day trying to get this thing level. So you're seeing the finished product. So, Again, you want to choose an area, and I cleaned I'm, out the Made seat. that red tape you see there eight feet using a tape measure. And then I walked in a circle all the way around. 
with the string pivoting on the center stake. And actually what I used, you could use flour, paint, whatever. I uh, use it. And it certainly you can taper the edge here a little bit. Right along in there. And if you taper it, when the water runs off and hits the plastic, it'll run straight down into the ditch. So the plastic runs in the ditch. Then I'll take those rocks that you see along there. And and then I'll lay on top of the plastic right about every two feet to keep the plastic from blowing away. Your finished dome is 15 foot 6 inches. And I hope you enjoy your dome shelter system. Uh, your affordable, top vented, 10 man dome shelter system.